Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cuts Reactions, and my name's Greg. And, you know, a lot of times uh, I'll have plans to play some song or another, and then by the time the last song gets uploaded, which sometimes takes a while, you know, uh, and by that point, <laughs> that's not the song I want to hear. So, uh, play something else. You know, and that's what I'm going to do here is... Uh, this is John Fogarty off his 1985 uh, Centerfield album, and hopefully I can go ahead and, and play this. Uh, part of the reason I'm playing it is because <laughs> it was uh, it was just so insane. When this album came out, uh, John Fogarty had been involved in legal crap for quite a while. The, uh, the guy who owned Fantasy Records when the band was in the process of breaking up and everything, he swooped in and, and bought all the uh, masters for the for all the Creedence Clearwater Revival songs, you know. So, uh, you know, it was kind of kind of crazy, and he got paid, and, oh, you know, John Fogarty had to, uh, uh, had to sue every time he wanted to play one of their songs because, you know, he was supposed to get writer royalties and they wouldn't pay and anyway it was just really a big mess you know just a horrible legal mess and when this album came out uh one of the songs he had on it was uh zance can't dance which i'll play at some point or another but <laughs> it was um oh let's say not very loosely based on saul zance the uh head of fantasy records and fantasy records you know uh they pretty much had one client, and that was uh, CCR, you know, so CCR made them rich, and anyway, uh, you know, the guy sued over it, and John February's like, hey, I just wrote a song about a pig, you know, it's no big deal, and so, you know, after like a week or something, they, they pulled the album, and he redid it with uh, Vance Can't Dance, you know, but anyway, and then there was another song on there, Mr. Greed. And that, that they got upset about because he was talking about the record company exec. So this song, Old Man Down the Road, which was a huge hit, you know, and, and hopefully I can play this video because the video is very cool. But it's funny because uh, the guy with, with Fantasy Records sued John Fogarty for this song, saying basically it's just a remake of the song Run Through the Jungle with new words. Well, you know, they went to court, and, you know, a few million bucks later, a judge ruled that, no, you cannot plagiarize yourself. <laughs> kind of a no-brainer, but, yeah, you can't plagiarize yourself. So, anyway, let's go ahead and listen to this song. It's uh, The Old Man Down the Road. And, the, like I say, the, the video is so cool. And, you, you know, when I, I watch other reactors... Uh, watch it, it's like, it's almost like they didn't really get, you know, what they were doing with the guitar chord, you know, just going around and all the stuff that, you know, that you see and everything. It's, I don't know, it's a very cool video. And so, like I say, at this point, this is the song I wanted to listen to. So that's what we're going to hear. I can get it going.
such a great song. Such a great, great song. You know, plus, the, I mean, the guitar is just, just wonderful. It's, you know, it's, it's a whole separate genre that they, that they created, or I should say John Fogarty, you know, the rest of the guys, I'm sorry, but the rest of the, the rest of the band really didn't count much, you know. I heard him, uh, I heard him play with the Grateful Dead at, uh, Golden Gate State Park, I guess, you know, the first time they came back and played all the old songs, you know, and yeah, the, the dead were able to back him up pretty well, you know, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and like I said, I just love that video, but uh, I will be back in a minute, we'll play something else, and in the meantime, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you then, bye-bye.